guys, Todd here. Now, this mod that I got today, I was going to leave the review till tomorrow, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I came out to the shed, it's late at night, and I'm recording this just now because I've been vaping this most of the day, and it is just... Well, I wanted to record it just now because I've been enjoying it. Uh, this is the Hero. Now, this came to me free for review from charliesvapeshop.co.uk and uh, we'll do a full breakdown on it and uh, I'll let you see what it's all about and we'll do a rebuild as well uh, it's a hybrid, it's got a 5mm tank in it it's an 18350 battery um, it's... I'm quite smitten with this one um, We'll have a quick vape. And it vapes really well, <laughs> I have to say. And uh, when you see how it's actually the wicks made up and how it's fed, you'll be probably a bit surprised. I was, in fact. I actually thought this was going to be a piece of crap when I first got it out of the box uh, and I saw it, I just thought it was... Hmm. Uh, now it's chrome plated definitely chrome plated but it's stainless steel and... Uh... anyway, uh, this, th this thing's caught me totally by surprise totally, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be what it's going to be like, what I'll show you coming up. Um, so we'll crack on with it and uh, <laughs> we'll get to it in. Uh, the lighting might be bad here because it's it's actually quite late and uh, I've only got this little light here and we'll see how it goes anyway. Right, let's get this beastie broken down. Okay, drip tip off. Comes with a Ming drip tip as standard. Um, you can see in there. And we've got our firing button up here as well. Now, this is the battery tube. Just unscrews like so. And you just unscrew the cap at the bottom. And your battery pops out. And that's that. Really nice touch, which is great to see. It's actually got a battery adjustment screw here, so you can take the rattle out of your battery, which is uh, wasn't expecting to see that, but it's a good addition. Uh, we then unscrew this. This is our tank for our liquid. See, it's lined with plastic in there, some kind of plastic material. So uh, that's you. Take that off. We then take this cap off. And there's your chamber. Which then allows us to see this arrangement. And there's the pin lying in the floor there. Uh, build your wicking coil. Stick your pins in. And your wicks come out of here go through that hole so they'll come out here, your wicks will drop right down and then they feed into the tank and that's how you're fed so we'll get back to that in a wee while uh, now you can break this down further uh, and I might as well just go for this while I'm filming away here undo this top screw in between the drip tip and the firing button and it all comes to bits so there we have our, our firing button it's a spring in the bottom of a joining piece here we have what looks like uh, brass uh, you know, that's going to take the current from one side of the device to the other side. 
Uh, so you've got a bit of brass here. Um, you get your, your positive post in here. And this is your battery adjustment. So we'll pop this back together. If I can remember how. Pop the button in here. Was like so. Make sure it's all lined up. There we go. Push it together. And we just screw it back in. Really simple device. Um, and that's it. Okay. Let's get this set up. Okay, right. Uh, the distance from here to the bottom of the tank is about an inch and a half. So based on that, I've got one mil wick here, silica wick. Uh, I've just got my ruler and I'm just measuring it an inch and a half. Might take two inches. So there's two inches. Now, when I coil this, just making sure here, that's two inches I've got. Now, I was going to do it like that, but actually thinking about it, that's an inch and a half. I need it to be three inches long because the, the coil is going to go in the middle, so I need it to droop down like that. So three inches. Fold it in half, fold it in half again, I'm going to fold it in half yet again. So I'm going to have four strands here, and I'm just going to cut this there, like so. And I can take all this out of the way. That's me got my wick. Right, let's go and find some cantle wire. Right, got my cantle wire, I've flamed it, got my needle and my wicks here. I'm just going to grab them like so, punch them up and make my coil. And that's me. All done. Now this is very similar to the the dream, uh, which Charlie sells as well. Uh, in that, uh, you know, we're going to have to cut this relatively short here. You know, it's just, I've almost got like, it's like a, a staple, if you like. See it there? Pull that pin out on the needle. Take my base. And just drop this in like so. And I'm going to look for my tweezers uh, because I have no nails. And, uh, well, do you know what? I can't actually find my tweezers. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, well, here we go. Fingers and thumbs. Right. Make sure I'm in the holes here. falling out. It's actually late at night here. And I can't actually see what I'm doing because the light is that bad in here. There we go. 
Sorry, I'm all over the place here, guys. Grab my pen. Push it in the hole. Spin this round. Grab my other pin. And push that in the hole. And that's me. All set up. Make sure that the... Same as the Dream. Make sure that the, the coil is not touching the... You know, the base. You want to make sure that it's lifted from the base. I'm just going to... Stick my needle under there and just lift it up a little bit. Make sure everything's spaced out nice and neatly. If you want to, you could uh, stick your battery in the tube. Tighten that up. Pop it on. And... firing away quite the thing there. That's great. And just for ease of access, I'll actually take this off just now. Right, here we go. Um, that's a bit better. I think I've been out of focus most of the time here. This is shocking. Right, this is the interesting part. Now, we need to get these wicks through that hole. <laughs> and believe me it's just as much fun as it looks uh, now Quick edit. Yes, I'm editing. Uh, this went on for 15 minutes with me poking things into a hole. Anyway, uh, easier way to do it. Uh, you've got the wicks. You're going to have a tiny little bit of canthal line about after you've tied, done your coil. Uh, just grab the end of the wicks, wrap your little bit of canthal around it, tighten them up, pop it through the hole, job done. Uh, some people you can even get a bit of tape if you wanted. Uh, anything that's going to, you know, hold the, the tails together and pop them through. But uh, the thing I would strongly suggest is don't cut it exact. Always give you give yourself more length than you actually need for the wicks uh, because it makes it a lot easier to work with. And uh, right, let's get back to it. Here's another quick edit uh, that I'm just throwing in there because uh, it's just things you find out when you've been tinkering. Uh, right, I now have a brass hot spring. Uh, I also have put a, a, a little brass spring in the switch. I've also taken an M4 bolt, brass bolt, and put it in at the top here. Um, and Perhaps most surprisingly of all, I don't know why, and I, you'll probably hear me referring to it, but I actually thought that this was chrome-plated stainless steel. Uh -uh. Uh, that serves me right. I should know by now. Um, I don't know if you'll actually be able to make the difference out there in the camera. Is that going to focus? Come on, just for today. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> that looks exactly the same. Uh, can you see the, the brass? One tube's actually, I've sanded it down and it's brass. 
the battery tube. Um, actually, looking at it, it just looks like stainless steel from a distance, but it is brass. I've, I've polished it down. Uh, which, for the money, I'm still not entirely bothered about. Um, because my Zen Sidewinder was aluminium and it cost an arm and a leg. Uh, good thing is, if you want to tinker some more, <laughs> uh, I would uh, get a little Dremel wire brush attachment and I would take the chrome plating off the threads uh, here and here. Uh, and just where power has to travel, get rid of the chrome plating. If you do that, you're increasing the conductivity, and uh, this thing just hits harder and harder and harder the more you get the power flowing through it. As standard, is good. There's no shame to it at all. But uh, when you start tweaking it and tweaking it, it just keeps getting better and better. Uh, so, on we go again. Right. Um, Excuse me for uh, making a bit of a dog's dinner of that, but uh, let's say I've already set this up. I mean, it came with a coil pre-installed, uh, which I ditched uh, straight away and I put my own one on, and it worked great. Uh, but let's say it's late here and I've only got the lighting that's in the shed and um, try to do it on camera. So it's not quite as bad as I've made out. Um, now... I was kind of curious about the material because I'm pretty sure it's chrome plated. I was going to say it was chrome plated brass, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to make this out. Um, but I've been scratching the bejesus out of uh, the inside that tube there. And it's stainless steel, but it's chrome plated. Um, it's a strange one. The other thing I noticed is I wonder why the draw was so tight on it. Now, the, the tank section has three holes, well, it has four holes. Uh, I was looking at it and wondering, I wonder where they get the draw from, the airflow from. And uh, then I noticed that all the holes were actually blocked. So I just got a needle and heated up the tip of it and just stuck it through one of the holes, opened it up, and I've got a bit of a... I've got a bit like a one mil draw there. I might open up another one. Um, but I don't know if that's just because of the one I've got or uh, maybe the forgot to do that at the factory. I don't know. Um, but, right, let's stick the battery tube on. Um, when you're changing the battery, take the whole battery tube off. It's so much easier. Um, I'm really... I think the battery can't... Got my big knife. <laughs> it's stainless steel. That is stainless steel. Why did they chrome it? Don't make sense. Anyway, there you go. Kind of hell. It's uh, it is stainless steel. Oh, all the bits I've scratched out have been stainless steel. Uh, right, so battery. There we go. So there's your battery tube. And just push it up and screw on. Because if you try to take the cap off, uh, because of the, you know, the, where the cap is in relation to this, when you try to push the cap on, it's quite footery. Uh, it's quite a bit of a hit or a miss, so it's a lot easier just to take the entire cap off. Uh, 
Um, so, there we go. There's the hero. Now, I love the design of this. Absolutely love it. Uh, I, I don't... <sighs> It is what it is. It's it's a toy. It's tiny. It really is tiny. Uh, right, just the uh, right width. Forty three point five five millimeters. So that's width. Depth. Twenty one millimeters. Height, not including the firing button or drip tip. 62 millimeters. Uh, here it is next to a dingo. A dingo is one of the, well, maybe the Nemesis, uh, smallest uh, 18350 you can get. So it's small. I mean, it is really small. Uh, and perhaps the most amazing thing about it, and this is the bit that caught me totally off guard because when I saw how they were setting this up to feed the coil I thought this is going to be a total nightmare That's a 1.2 ohm coil. I can tell you now that that is feeding the coil no problem at all. Absolutely no problem at all. Um, th that has amazed me. Um, I, I, I've been vaping this all day and uh, I'm totally smitten with it. Uh, do you know, I mean, I've had a Zen Sidewinder, uh, I've not owned a sticker, you know, like you get the K-Fun sticker, which is kind of like that, with a, a mini K-Fun and like an Eagle battery type thing on this side, uh, I've not owned one of them, but uh, This, I think this is going to be about 75, 80 pounds as it comes just now. It's going to be about the 80 pound mark for an 18350 hybrid. Well, it is a hybrid, I suppose. It's an all in one. It, you know, uh, it's not the, what we would traditionally call a hybrid, you know, a, a tube. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop there. I'm, I'm just going to stop. Uh, <coughs> I will probably put a hot spring in the bottom cap. Uh, I might try and find a, a, a brass or copper spring uh, for the firing button. Um, and other than that, that's it. That's all I'll do to it. But I'm really impressed. Uh, now I got this free for review. But I would buy this. I, personally, I would buy this for the money. Um, I saw it. I'm away for a vape. <laughs> Listen, guys. Uh, this is the hero. Okay. 18350 hybrid, 5mm uh, tank, uh, fully mechanical mod, and it comes with a drip tip. And this came from charliesvapeshop.co.uk. And uh, I can't say any more than that, but uh, all the best now. We'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye.